I'm Michael Manning from American Auto Wire, and today we want to talk to you about how to do the correct crimp on wires for any one of our kits using a series of tools that are available for purchase or part of our tool rental program. Uh, it's important that we get the correct crimp to maintain the longevity of the wire connection in the circuits in your kit. So with that said, uh, we can get into showing you how to do one. What we really want to do is, I'm going to show you how to do a couple of crimps on some of these wires. I have three different terminals here. All of these terminals will be included in your kit, but they each serve a different function. This terminal is for a steering column and a body connection. This terminal is for your headlights, and this is a universal terminal used in many different spots on the kit. We have different gauges of wire involved with the circuits. The first wire I'm going to talk to you about, this is actually a 14 gauge wire. I want to be able to put the correct strip length on that wire. We're using my strip tool and I am going to select and do a strip with this tool. I'm going to measure that to a terminal, select one of the terminals and we can see that in this case this terminal is the correct size. I have just a little extra copper here and I'm going to trim that. It's probably just a tad more than a quarter inch. Okay, I trim that. When I lay that back in, you can see it's perfect. Perfect core height, perfect insulation height. I'm going to take the single terminal crimp tool. <clears throat> I'm going to use the high end and the small end to, to uh, crimp the core. I'm going to do that first. The high end starts the crimp. I'm going to flip it over, do the small end. There's my core wing crimp. Then I'm going to use the high end or the, the, the larger end to crimp the insulation. The insulation is a little more diameter than the core, so that will be sufficient enough to complete the crimp. And there we go. Good crimp. Perfect. You have a great roll just the right amount of wire, a little space here, and a good, uh, a good crimp around the insulation wing. I want to do one other one for you. Let's, do, let's take what we would have in the headlight circuit. When we go to the left or right hand, uh, the left side of the vehicle in the front, we usually double up a connection for the high and low beams. They are 14 gauge wires, again, doubled up, and then one wire comes from the, uh, from the bulkhead, the other actually goes to the other side headlight. So how do we deal with this termination? Well, the terminal we use, it's a little wider here in the blade, it's a 59 series, but it's also wider in the core and insulation wing, and the reason is it's made to do this double. And as you can see, we pre-strip this wire, and it's a good strip, it's the right length. So what I'm going to do now is use the double tool, so this tool won't be applicable, I will use the double insulation, a uh, double crimp tool, and again we have two wings. The smaller wing here will crimp the core, the larger wing will crimp the insulation, and I'll do that. So I've taken the smaller wing, as you can see, I'm down on that, and it does a great crimp on the core. Then I'm going to flip the tool over and do the insulation wing, and there's your crimp, and that's, that's correct. And we're going to point out what happens when you get a bad crimp. In this first case, somebody forgot to strip the wire. So they've crimped it. It looks like a, it's a great crimp. And a little bit of the insulation is sticking up on top of this wire. Less if I did this look. But you can see that there's no contact between the terminal and the copper of the wire. There would not be conductivity on this terminal. Second one. This looks like a good crimp. The problem here is that not enough Man. wire was stripped. So there's very little copper that's actually inside the core wing. And we can tell that why because there's no there's no view of the copper or the littlest bit of copper off the top of the core uh, the core wing crimp. This is just the opposite, too much strip. This would work. However, 
right here is the end of the insulation. It is off the end of the insulation crimp. So you remember we said before about fulcrum? Look at where the fulcrum is right now. You can see it's not going to be too long if there was vibration involved with this. This wire would weaken and snap at this point. 